Let's read the question. Resolve into partial fractions. 3x power 3 minus 8x square plus 10 by x minus 1 power 4. So before solving this into partial fractions, we need to identify whether the given question is in proper fraction or improper fraction. So there are two rules to identify. The first rule is that x power should be higher in the denominator or it can be equal with the numerator. So here x power is higher in the denominator. So first rule is satisfying for proper fraction. And the second rule is that the coefficient of x should be higher in the numerator and it can be equal with the denominator. So here x coefficient is higher in the numerator. So both of the rules were satisfying here. So the given question is a proper fraction. So let's write the sentence saying that given fraction is proper fraction okay so let's try to solve this forward we'll just write the given thing that is 3x power 3 minus 8x square plus 10 by this is x minus 1 whole power 4 this was the given question all right so now we'll just take let x minus 1 we'll just take it as t so, in such case, 1 I'll send to other side, so I can get x equal to uh, 1 plus t will be getting. So, this is the x value which we got. So, now we'll just take the given question and we'll try to solve this now more forward. Whereas, in the place of x minus 1, I'll just submit t. In the place of x, I'll submit 1 plus t. We are doing this because here in the denominator, the power is 4. If we take 4 and if we keep solving, the question will be very big and it will be very complicated to solve. So, for the reason, we are using this particular method. So, I can write this as 3x power 3 minus 8x square plus 10 by this is x minus 1 power 4. So here now we'll do this forward. So here in the place of uh, x minus 1 we need to submit uh, t. In the place of x I should submit 1 plus t. So let's do that. So 3 into 1 plus t whole cube minus 8 into 1 plus t whole square plus 10 by so this is x minus 1 and it's nothing but it is t power 4. Okay. So now let's see this forward. So this is in the form of a plus b whole cube. And this is in the form of a plus b whole square. So I'll write the formulas here. a plus b whole cube. So what is the formula a plus b whole cube? That is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Okay. So this is the formula which we are going to apply here and we'll try to solve this. This is a plus b whole cube we are doing and even we have a plus b whole square formula also that is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So these both of the formulas we'll just apply over here and we'll try to solve this. Okay. So now I can write this as 3 into here I'm writing a plus b whole square. So this is 1 plus t cube plus 3 into t square plus 3t. So I just applied this 1 plus t in the place of a plus b, a plus b whole cube. We just, just consider and try to solve it. So 8 into this is 1 a plus b whole square. So we can write this as 1 plus t square plus 2t and 10 as it is. Okay. So now taking this 3 inside we get more uh, for the question, this is 3 into 1 is 3, plus this is 3t cube, and here is 3 3s, which is 9t square, plus this is 3 3s, again 9t we are getting. And this also taking inside, even with minus, so we'll be getting this as minus 8, this is minus 8t square, this is minus 8 to the 16t, plus 10, whole by t power 4. Okay? So now we'll write everything in sequence. So that gives us more clarity. So I can write this as 3t power 3. And when it comes to square term, see here, 9t square is there. Here, 8t square is there. So the, both of them get cancelled. So the, we will be only getting t square. Okay. Now when it comes to only t, so here is 9t, here is 16t. So cancelling each other, we will be remained with 70 
okay now we have only constant terms here is plus 3 minus 8 plus 10 so together uh, what do we get here plus 5 All right so we got the numerator the denominator is t power 4 okay we'll just separate the denominator and we'll see how we can solve this so i can write this as 3 t power 3 by t power 4 plus t square by t power 4 and this also minus 70 by t power 4 plus 5 by t power 4 now cancelling t power 3 and here only one t is remain so we'll write that as it is 3 by t is remain now plus t square and only 2 only power 2 is remain so i can write 1 by t square so this is minus 7 by so here 1 t has gone only 3 is remain power so i can write t power 3 so now this is plus 5 by t power 4 so these are the values which we are getting so now we we'll try to solve this more forward so initially you might have remember that t we have taken it as x minus 1 see here t is nothing but x minus 1 before it was x minus 1 only we have compared with t and in the place of x minus 1 we wrote t so we'll just submit that back okay the t value is x minus 1 we'll submit back that gives the answer so i can write here 3 by t is x minus 1 and this is plus 1 by x minus 1 whole square minus 7 by x minus 1 whole cube plus 5 by x minus 1 whole power 4 so let's write the left hand side part also that is given that is 3x cube minus 8x square plus 10 whole by x minus 1 power 4 okay i hope this is very clear to you so this is all about this particular question